Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to break down how much it costs to buy all the study materials for the MCAT and how to save up the money to cover those costs in case that is a hurdle for you. Because the last thing that I want you to have to do is not get one of these study materials that are so, so important to studying and doing well in the MCAT because you don't have the money. So let's just nip that problem in the bud. <laughs> I scored a 516 on my MCAT and I love sharing tips about the MCAT, how to study for it, what resources to use, study materials. So this is the fourth video in a seven part series on getting started with the MCAT. Be sure to download the free PDF that we have that covers everything that's talked about in the series. It will be really, really helpful. So with that, let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is add up how much everything is gonna cost, like the study materials, the registration, and things like that, what the total is gonna be so that we can know how much money we need to save. I'm doing this based on the study materials that I recommend studying with. So it might be slightly different if you're using something more or less expensive, but these are the four things that I highly recommend to study with. And that would be the Kaplan content review books, which is $150, four blueprint exams, because you're already getting three blueprint exams with the Kaplan books. So four more for your phase two of studying, that is $135. It does come with a question bank, but I would not recommend using it because UWorld is like the gold standard for the MCAT question bank. It's $369, so I know like you're like probably, Maggie, hello, like for $135, I can get a QBank and exams. Why would I spend $370 on the UO and QBank? I will link below the Reddit thread that I like read on it. And because I was also like, oh, maybe I should just tell them to like use that question bank. But I don't know, I read this Reddit thread and my own personal experience using UWorld, I would just highly recommend not using it. Like UWorld is known to be very, very good. So anyway, that's my tidbit and then you can read more below. So then the UWorld Cube Bank is 369. That is for six months. They have a 90 day access for $319. I personally think like if you're going to study in three months, sure, that might be good. Also, this is only in phase two of your studying. I just personally like, I don't want to be cut off when I'm using the resources. Like I want to be able to like make my study plan. So I need access to know how many questions there are in each section ahead of time. And like, it's way cheaper to just buy the six months ahead of time versus buying buying it for three months, realizing you like bought it too soon, running out, and then having to pay another 300 something dollars for three more months because it's not cheap to like extend it. You have to extend it like week by week. So that's why I just put the six month one in there, even if you're studying for three or four months and you're only doing phase two for even less than that. And then the AAMC bundle, top, top, top recommended resource, obviously, because this is the company that creates the MCAT exam. This is $294 and you get one year access with that. I have a whole video diving deeper in into why I recommend those study materials. If you wanna watch it, I'll put a link up here. But the next category is just one other expense and that is the registration fee, which costs $335. So the total comes to $1,283 for the four study materials and the registration fee. Holy moly, that is way too much money. So next let's talk about how to either save money on that potentially or be a side hustle king or queen and make that money so you can have the best resources. Like nobody's gonna get the second rate blueprint Q bank. We're gonna use the gold standard U world. So the first step is to see if you qualify for the fee assistance program because if your parents or yourself, because the things have changed slightly to where you don't have to put your parents' income now, it changes like slightly every year, but what you need to do is go to the AMC website, I'll link the page below, and go to the page where you can see who qualifies for fee assistance program, and it's based on like income. So like if your income, you or your parents' income is low enough, you may qualify for this program, and then you would apply, and what you get if you do qualify is free AAMC bundle, and and the registration fee goes from $335 to $148. So if you do qualify for the fee assistance program, then your total comes to $794, which is way better than $1,283. Number two, if you are a freshman or sophomore and you are like six months or a year away from taking the MCAT, then you're in the beautiful position to be able to save a little bit over time and or ask for money for Christmas or the next two Christmases, like you have more time. So what I would recommend is to one, you could save like a hundred bucks a month for a year and that will like just put it away in a little MCAT savings account or even like withdraw it and put it in an envelope, whatever you wanna do, you have the luxury to save a little bit over time. Number three, if you're like Maggie, no, I actually need to start buying these materials like in the next month or two, I need to make this money fast. Then luckily 
I personally consider myself the side hustle queen and I'm gonna break down for you how to save 1500 bucks real quick because honestly, as a pre-med student, it's real easy to make a little side hustle cash because you're qualified to babysit other humans or dogs. So like babysitting, dog sitting, and then tutoring. Like all those science classes you took that now you're like really good at math or really good at science or really good at physics, whatever, whatever you're good at, you can tutor for $50 an hour. So, okay, let me, I'm getting a little excited because like side hustles are like, I love having side hustles. I've done all the side hustles in the world. So first decide what you want to do. So your options, like I said, tutoring, babysitting, dog sitting. Do you like dogs? That would be like so easy. Like, I don't know if you like dogs, you could start there. If you have a, a specific like subject that you're really really good at and you think you could do good at teaching then do that if you hate dogs don't do that if you love physics and love teaching physics do tutoring and then the other one is like babysitting so make sure you're like responsible around kids i'm sure plenty of you have siblings and cousins and like you're great with kids babies toddlers you can like entertain them and take care of them so basically out of the three options like choose which one is like most fun for you and will be like the least stressful for you so like when i was in grad school i did a lot of rover and dog sitting because i had like multiple roommates and when i dog sat i stayed in their houses and their houses were really Really, really nice not that my townhouse wasn't nice but I like I got a whole house to myself and I got to like come home to dogs after class and I got paid like it's so easy but if you're allergic to cats or dogs then like go the tutoring route or the babysitting route now we're gonna make up a specific plan of how we're gonna make that money so with tutoring, you could do 30 hours of tutoring at $50 per hour. So something like physics or like chemistry or pre-algebra for like a high school student, $50 an hour is completely reasonable. I specifically tutored a high school student for $50 an hour and it was like math, it was like algebra or something. So it was like super easy for me. Or you could do 30 nights of dog sitting at $50 per night, which is a total common rate. I search for dog sitters for Oakley all the time. So like that's very common. And 30 nights is like if somebody's out of town for seven days and you're like staying at their house that's like three or four times and bam you have those 30 nights or you could do walks like with rover you can just like go to their house walk the dog or even do like drop-ins and that's like maybe 25 dollars. so if you do that 60 times that would be like 10 walks a week for six weeks 1500 dollars walking dogs like 10 walks a week doesn't take much out of your time like you find people that are close to you you drive to their house and like 10 walks a week that could be like three walks per day for three days the third day is like four walks that's 10 so like this is simple stuff and then for babysitting you could do 60 hours of babysitting at $25 per hour so again all these are like super super doable and honestly after you save the $1,500 you could probably just keep going because it fits into your schedule so so well that's what's great about these three options and then you also once you get to the $1,500 then you can start saving for your applications to apply to medical school now, the third thing that we need to do is actually get these jobs. So where the heck do you go to find these? There are many, actually, well, there's a ton of places, but honestly, between like three options, like just start at these three sites and I promise you, you will easily find what you need between these three sites. So the first one, care.com is great because you pay for the background check, but then it includes some dog sitting stuff and it includes babysitting, it includes errands. If you're a good cook, you could even just go to somebody's house and just like cook for them. Like people just need help with a little day to day things like prepping their meals and like following recipe to cook and then cleaning up afterwards. I literally like when I was prepping for this video, I read that specific job for 25 to $30 an hour. <laughs> so care.com is great. If you're doing the babysitting route or the tutoring route, I would actually like do it that for the dog route. I would go with Rover. I was also like, I've used all of these sites and I've gotten jobs on all of these sites. So babysitting or tutoring, definitely care.com because you can find both, um, which I think is nice. If that like 20 bucks for the background check is actually like a lot for you then it's nice to kill two birds with one stone and look at multiple options if you definitely want to do dog sitting for sure for sure then just start a rover account again you have to pay some amount of money probably hopefully still less than thirty dollars um for the background check and then you can set it up, up an account and you're probably going to be like oh my god there's so many other series why would people choose me i got requests within the same day when i first started my rover account i spent the last ten dollars to my name after just moving to san diego and being so broke and having no no job and I did rover to fill the gap between getting like a, a big girl job using my degree and stuff had 
zero dollars left in my bank account for this background check and then like within the next two days i got my first rover set so if that background check is a lot for you and believe me i have been there it's worth it i promise and then the third site is if you for sure for sure want to do tutoring um tutors.com is where i found the tutoring gig where i talk about um tutoring that high school in math high school or in math again you get tons of requests once you set up your profile so it's super super easy to find something last but not least this is when it comes to like marketing yourself basically once you've created these accounts you want to be very professional you want to have a really good headshot for your account um, if it's rover find all the pictures that you have of yourself with dogs and put that on your account like any whatever account you create on these sites um, that you picked you want to really flesh out like nobody's gonna pick you if you have like two sentences on your about me thing okay so like fill in the pictures like for the about me section be like i go to x university i'm a pre-med student like I want to get into medical school I love dogs I've always had them growing up and like I would love to watch your dogs I have experience with XYZ or if you're tutoring you're like I have had little cousins that I cared for growing up and like I know so much about caring for babies and making sure they stay alive and stuff um, <laughs> flesh out your profiles and then you want to have some good pitches for when people reach out to you you want to have a very professional and like good response rover the key is to respond quickly as somebody who often uh, requests rovers for my dog like respond quickly or you're they're not gonna want you <laughs> we automatically count people out if they take like the whole day to like respond and we're like oh my god like what if our dog is with them like yeah so just respond quickly when it comes to rover that is a huge thing also because if other people respond quicker than you then like somebody else is gonna get that dog sitting job because they responded faster and then with the babysitting and tutoring so for tutors.com like they can like express interest in you or something and once you have a lead then you can respond to it so here's an example of like what my response is the key is making it specific to their request for example this girl when i got like the lead and they're like oh somebody wants a math tutor near you i was like hi i'm a recent college graduate i would be happy to provide math tutoring for your daughter okay so like i didn't just copy and paste like a generic thing that like could go to anybody i had a template and then i made that template like specific to the request i think that's like a big positive to actually like getting these roles and then you kind of like boost yourself up graduated with a degree in both biology and chemistry and will be starting medical school they're gonna really like love to hear that you're a pre-med student in addition to sciences math was always my favorite subject so again specific to this request they want somebody that's good at math so i'm going to mention how i'm good at math please feel free to blah 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 so this last step is all about actually landing the jobs over other people that are also trying to get these tutoring, dog sitting or babysitting jobs. And you just really want to come off as really professional, respond quickly, give what makes you good, i.e. like I have this degree, I'm a pre-med student, this is my past experiences and all that. And you will easily, easily, easily land probably multiple jobs to be like, why didn't I start this sooner? Actually, now I'm going to start like saving up to $5,000 so I can pay off XYZ and way more than the MCAT expenses. All right, now that your side is so clean, next is actually talking about how to study for the MCAT. So I recently did a video of how I got my dream score, 516, like literally what I posted on my wall and looked at every single day while I was studying for the MCAT is what I ended up getting. And I go in depth on how I studied for phase one, phase two, and phase three. So if you don't even know what I mean by phase one, two, and three, that's definitely the next video to watch.